Now you have to understand, I'd never been in a bar in my life. I was always told if you went in a bar, you'd get your throat cut with a broken beer bottle. My friend Cowboy Bob DeVinney took us into the Stagecoach Bar, and that's where a lifetime love affair began. Walt Callahan was the owner of the bar, and you had a window which went back to the rodeo grounds, and you could get your beer through the window. With a character like Walt, who was kind and charming and crazy, and glued all kinds of people together, that that kind of set the mold. Well, the rodeo left, but it wasn't very long after the rodeo left that the band began. So there's been a continuing form of entertainment that connected people. What you'd find in the bar in the 50s was definitely cowboys. It was a rough scene, playing for cowboys, okay, and the cowboys were really itching for a fight, and they would have a fight every Sunday. Okay, that was part of the entertainment. I was smarter than to sasha into the stagecoach bar without a real good reason and a plan of exit. <laughs> For a while there was some real problems between what they called the hippies and the cowboys. The fighting gradually faded out. People preferred the music. There's some marvelous, impossible things that happened in the stagecoach. My name's Claire Carlson and I am at the Stagecoach Bar and Grill and I've been coming here since dirt. I don't live here full time in Wilson, but it still feels like home. So when I come, I, I want to connect with the community and that's, that's what I do at the coach. For me, that's the venue through which I feel a, a part of things here. And I think that's because the coach isn't really a bar. It's a community center that just happens to serve booze. You can get people from 21 to, to 70 out on the dance floor, even on disco night. It's been, been quite a scene sometimes to see the mix out there. It's this little hole in the wall. It's gone through a lot of evolutions, but it's real. We call it the Sunday night service. One of the joys on a Sunday night is to sit over on the bench under the windows and just look at the footwear. Cowboy boots of all kinds and sandals and bare feet, everything known to man you'll see out on that dance floor, that's the crowd at the coach. They make everybody feel welcome. And that's kind of where we transition from strangers and out of town tourists and dude ranchers to becoming locals. The best friends we have in the world, we met most of them at the coach. <laughs>